This is the plaintiff, Karen Rose. She says she rented the defendant's house for 12 years, and now that she's moved out, the mean guy's taking advantage of her and not returning all of her security deposit. She didn't cause any damage, just the normal wear and tear of living someplace for 12 years and thinks the defendant's being downright unfair. She's suing for $1,339.54, the money he refuses to return. This is the defendant, Edward Trigar. He says the house was a disaster when the plaintiff left. A disaster with a capital D, that is. She smoked, it was infested with bugs, and it reeked of cat urine. Gross! It cost him considerable time and money to get the place rentable again. He had every right to keep some of her security. And he's not giving her back a thing. He's accused of sticking it to a tenant. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff lived in the defendant's house for 12 years, and now the defendant's trying to steal her security. But the defendant says the house was a disaster infested with bugs and cat Let urine. It's right. the case of you're in big trouble now. Thank you, Douglas. You Karen Rhodes? Yes. You are suing your former landlord, Edward Trigger, for $1,339.54. That would be double the security deposit that you feel he wrongfully withheld. Um, which you are permitted to sue for double under the laws of your state of New Jersey. Tell me, Ms. Rhodes, what happened? Um, I, I lived in the apartment for um, 12 years. Um, I originally rented the apartment from his mom. Um, she passed away in October of 2014, and then Mr. Trigar became my landlord. Um, I was having some issues with... Was it a house or an apartment? It was a house. Okay. A bungalow. Um, I was having some issues with breathing, and I was looking to downsize into a smaller place. I originally, when he originally sent me uh, my security deposit back when I got the check, which I still have, I have not cashed it, um, it was for $559 out of 1350 which I was kind of upset about because... Let me, did he include a letter with that? Yes, he did. Let me see the letter he included. Thank you. The electric bill and the water bill, which come in the following month, so that right. you don't dispute. I was fine with that. Removal of trash, items left behind, and cleaning, $400. 10 gallons of Kills Stain Block Primer, 16 bucks per gallon to cover smoke-stained walls, repair some double-hung window glass in the living room, and remove, replace smoke-stained bedroom ceiling fan. Okay, Mr. Trigar, um, she lived there 12, <clears throat> 12, count them, years. Uh, why, did you, uh, ref did, why didn't you return the whole amount? Uh, well, when she moved out, um, it wasn't really cleaned at all. Uh, it wasn't broom swept, there was a lot of dirt in there. Uh, she left quite a few items left behind. There was a lot of smoke damage on the walls. Uh, the, the, the rugs were kind of stained. There were some pet stains, like from urine and stuff on the rugs. So it was, it was pretty bad. Let's look at the pictures a second. Okay, so what is this a picture of? That's dust on the, uh, on the wall, on the cob uh, cobwebs. What is that item I'm looking at? That's the thermostat on the wall. Okay, and what is this? A silica That's gel pack? It's a gel pack and some other garbage that's like uh, not swept up for underneath the. Uh, what is that? That's an accumulation of dust and dirt on the window sills in the bedroom. Wow, I know why you're having breathing problems. <laughs> What's that? That's a ceiling fan in the bedroom. You can tell all the, 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 the brown, yellow is the smoke from smoking and smoke <clears throat> damage. Okay, but wouldn't you replace that anyway after 12 years? Because I'm, you know, I'm looking at it. What is all that duct tape and stuff? That's how it got installed? Yeah. Um, when I first moved into the place, there was an invasion of flies, which came from the ceiling. And what I did was I put duct tape around it to keep the flies above me. What's that? Uh, stained, stained carpeting in the... How uh, old is that carpet? It was a brand new carpet. Prove that. I need you to prove that. I, I can't. Okay, we're in court. So, ugh, what's that? Just dirt and dirt and grime, and I think dirt that, and grime. And that's like some cleaning stuff, like a toilet brush left behind. Did you renovate this place? 
We're in the process of renovating. Yeah. Renovating. Okay. Uh, what's this a picture of? Dust on the toilet paper holder? Yes. Are these the cleaning supplies you were complaining about? Mm. Left behind, right. And that's a picture of like the smoke damage on the wall. So that's the where building. the pictures were? Yes. So it's a lot of, you smoked for how long? I quit three years ago. How long did you smoke? Since I was 21. And is this what you meant by porch stuff? This is what was left behind that we put out on the curb. That's it's, it? I, that's not my door. The chairs belong to my former landlady. They okay. were her chairs, that's why I left them. Okay. The door came from the basement. What, what was a double hung window glass in the living room? I didn't see any pictures of that. There was a, there was a window that was cracked. How did the window crack? Okay. Thank you. I didn't know the window was cracked. Is this scotch tape holding a crack? Yeah, there was, she had scotch Where tape. Where was on. that window? It was in the living room. Okay. In many ways, you and I are very different. If I had a tenant for 12 years who didn't give me a problem ever, I, unless she, like, you know, spray painted obscenities on the wall, I wouldn't keep a penny because 12 years is a long time to have a, a tenant. And there's an awful lot of wear and tear in 12 years. Um, but, you know, I've got to take a look at this and see whether or not there is any amount that he should be entitled to keep. Because I, I can only demand of people that they follow the law, not that they follow my personal standards. So, let's see. I think we're all pretty clear that you were going to paint the place anyway after all this time. The tenant lives there for 12 years, smokes. The apartment's yellow. Uh, the walls are yellow. Does the landlord get to keep money to repaint the unit? Um, no, I believe he doesn't. It's been 12 years, and there's only a certain amount of time that the tenant's actually responsible. And if he hasn't been painted in the 12 years that he's been there, he should get his money back. Okay, and that's all a really good point. Here's the question. Here's the question. You know, the walls are yellow because of her. So does that not matter because it's 12 years? No, absolutely not. Because if it did, when she first, he or she first moved in, they would say in there, non-smoking, do you smoke, what have you. Said, yeah, but you still have to pay the piper. No. Okay. I, no. Normal wear and tear. Yeah. Okay, normal wear and tear. Oh, magic words going inside the courtroom. I was yep. going to paint it. I had an estimate to paint. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I deducted for was the special stain color paint, not the top coat or the labor. So that's why I thought that was fair. I think you're right. I think the the special stain primer, but not the paint. Yep, and that is all you asked for. Um, the window and the uh, smoke-stained bedroom ceiling fan. Okay. I think it, you got a little greedy on the trash items left behind in the cleaning. I realize that there's a lot of you know dust and stuff there, and not everybody's cleaning standards would be the same. But $400, uh, I, I think that's kind of excessive. And in court, you're entitled to the reasonable amounts. I'm going to order a return of part of the security deposit. You're suing for double. Your state allows you to sue for double when an amount is wrongfully withheld. Wrongfully is a term of art. It's not, hey, do you get any money back? If so, you get double. He, he thinks that he legitimately had a claim to that. I've disagreed, and you're winning on some of it, but not all of it, because right. a, a lot of, you know, this place needed, uh -huh. this is not broom swept. That was filthy. All right, I am going to order a return of $250 of the remaining security deposit balance to the plaintiff. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Use Thank that you. to get a cleaning lady. So the plaintiff gets a portion of her security deposit back, $250. How do you feel about what the judge said? She thought maybe you were kind of being a little mean not giving her, you know, most of the security back because she'd been there 12 years and a really good tenant. Uh, I guess I don't feel like I was mean, but she, you know, she was fair enough. I'm, You're okay I'm, with I'm, it? I'm okay with it, sure. All right. She, okay. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Now, here comes the plaintiff, Ms. Rhodes. Hi. She was, you know, the judge said you've got to maintain things better. Yes, you know? I know. I Where, know. Are you in a better place now? Yes, I am. Yes, you going to keep it clean? Yes, I Take am. Take this 250 <laughs> bucks you're getting now and pay for maintenance? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, congratulations. You feel better? Yes, I feel much better. Good enough. Nice Thank to you. Meet you. Harvey? Okay, Doug, well, right at the buzzer, this woman said normal wear and tear, which is exactly what's going on here. The, even if the walls yellowed, the fact is, after 12 years, even if she didn't smoke, the walls would have to be painted again after 12 years. It is reasonable for a tenant to live in a place that requires repainting after 12 years, and the tenant will not get docked with his or her security deposit.